Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to easily install i3 tiling window manager for the Raspberry Pi OS. So let's get started. So if you guys don't know what i3 window manager is, it's basically a tiling window manager where anytime when you open a brand new window, it'll tile it on your desktop so it's not on top of each other. Now for me, I think it's very productive on a server environment where I could actually open multiple terminals and it won't overlap and I could keep an eye on everything. And it's actually pretty fun to install it onto a Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate it into Raspberry Pi OS so we don't have to install a bunch of other stuff. Now, what I'm showing you right now is actually the desktop of what I finished setting up. It's a very, very basic i3 setup where if I hit Windows key enter, it will open up the terminal. I hit it again, you could see it tiles up. And the version that I'm using of i3 is called i3 gaps, which gives you this little two pixel gap uh, well, you could set that up to whatever you want, but yeah, this is the version I'm using. And if I was to open, say, a program, right? Oh, not full screen. I could run this and say, open file manager, and it'll pop it on the bottom right. If I needed to, I could actually still float the window, and I could move this around like a normal window, or pop this, another one, do whatever you want. Basically, it's a Windows tiling manager that helps with productivity so now if i want to unfloat this i could pop that over there uh press hotkeys in a sense um, i use this on my laptop sometimes because i don't really require a touchpad as well this is something i could just use and move around and focus on each windows all using the keyboard which i find a lot of fun it also looks really cool but yeah you could also set up something like say if i'm trying to do by a system window manager over here and I want to resize this a little bit yeah just like that go over to the right here I'll probably make another window on the top window I could do something like a neo fetch um, and then let's see it didn't make it as pretty as I wanted to so I could do something like this neo fetch that again and on the bottom over here, I could do something like C matrix. It just makes everything look cool. I don't need that, so I can make it go down like that, see? And as you can see, I'm still using a desktop environment of LXDE, but the window manager is i3. i3 in itself is only a Windows manager. You will still need some sort of uh, desktop environment to control the icons and theming and everything. So we kept it as is of LXDE because Raspberry Pi has it so incorporated with that where you have auto login and stuff. I just left it as is instead of installing another environment. But something like this looks really, really cool. Now, if I pop over to another desktop, um, the wallpaper that I'm actually using, this is what you see over here. I uploaded to my repository with the RPI UBU64 desktop. And if you go over to wallpaper, I actually updated this a couple of days ago with this Mac-ish wallpaper that you see over here. Um, I also added updated the script because I added some stuff into here. So if you check out the readme four days ago, I added some new stuff to it. So I do update this repository with new wallpapers and other stuff that I do find. So if you want to check this out as well. Now, the next thing you want to check out is dot share dot it or dot share it. I'll leave a link down in the description for this. Now, this website is actually a really cool website to get configuration files. So we are using i3. So I'm going to click over here to i3 and let's sort by. OK, it's on the date. Uh, let's sort by how many people likes. So say you wanted a theme like i3 flat dark, click on view so you can see how it looks. If you think this looks really cool for you, this works for your environment, you could actually just click on this guy right over here. And he has all his configuration files, how to set up his i3, how to set up the X resource, config panels, and the software that he's using like lemon bar, i3 gaps, and that's the version we're using. So if you want to look at particular themes on how you want to set up how you know things like this just go through this and see which one you like and then copy and configure the way you want it to and then just modify it as you go anyway i'm going to show you guys how to get this installed onto the raspberry pi now all right so here we are with our default install of raspberry pi os and i just went through the basic setup and the first thing we need to do is actually download the Git from uh, Airbladder, which is his version of i3 gaps. So I'm gonna go to CD and head over to download so I have everything in one place. And I'm gonna do git clone https github.com capital airbladder slash i3. And we're gonna clone that version of i3. 
Now I'm, I am on Wi-Fi, so I might be a little bit slow. Okay, so after we clone the source from Airbladder, I'm gonna head over to his GitHub. Uh, go over to Wiki, and if you go to Build from Source, you will actually find all the dependencies that you need. So from Ubuntu, uh, I'm just gonna head over to Debian right over here, and basically grab all this. And copy, and then paste it into our shell. I forgot to hit sudo because I just copied that. All right, now that everything is installed, we are gonna need to head over to the directory. So we're gonna change to i3, uh, make their build, which I believe there is already, or if not, it'll make it. Change over to build and misin dot dot. Now, if we don't have misin installed, we do have to install it. So sudo app install misin. And we're going to do that again, misin dot dot. Now it's going to check for all the repositories and everything that you just installed to see if everything's going to be working. And if not, it will actually come back with an error. But nope, this seems to be good. So now we just need to do is ninja. And it's going to compile everything from source. And now all we have to do is sudo ninja install. And it's going to install everything that we need. And that is it. We actually compiled the i3 gaps and installed it into our Raspberry Pi environment. Now, here's the important step. Because Raspberry Pi has like auto login and all that other stuff incorporated into LXDE, I don't want to change that. So I'm going to use that to our advantage. So I'm going to change directory over to etc slash xdg. And in here, you're going to find LX session. So we're going to do cd LX session. And then we're going to change to LXDE Pi. And in here, there's two files that we need to change, which is auto start and desktop config. So we're gonna sudo nano desktop config. And the first line says window manager open box LXDE Pi. We're gonna remove that and change it over to i3. Now we're gonna hit save, yes, and close that. Now also we need to sudo nano auto start and we have to disable the LX panel because we don't want that to start or the desktop environment that Pac-Man FM, which is the wallpaper and all that stuff, we gotta get rid of that too. So we're gonna do Control X, yes. And that is it. We basically set up i3 to boot up. And the first time we boot in, it's gonna ask us to generate a configuration file. So I'm gonna do sudo reboot, and we're gonna pop over into that environment. And this is it. The first time we're booting up into our environment with i3, and it does say there's no configuration file yet. Hit enter to generate. Uh, which key do you want to use as the alternator or modifier, which is Windows key or whatever you want to use. And anytime when I hit Windows key enter, it's going to open my terminal for me. And from here, I could configure the rest. Now, on my installation, I did install Rofi, R-O-F-I, which is the menu. If I was to hit Windows key D, nothing comes up because there's no menu installed. And you can see how the status menu on the bottom is broken. We also do need to install that. So sudo app install i3 status. Yes. Now, if you want to get transparency and all that other stuff that I had in my earlier build, you need to install some compositioner. So you could use uh, Compton or Pycom. I'm, I was using Pycom at that time, so you could install that as well. But again, it, now it all depends on your style and how you want to edit it. And if you go over to that website I showed you earlier, which is .share.it, you're going to find tons of configurations you could build. Because, But this is the bare minimal. Now that I installed i3, we could reload it with Shift, Windows key R. And now you can see it's working on the bottom. I don't have gaps yet because I didn't put that into my configuration files, which is something you can do. And if you want to get rid of the menu, there's like other stuff to do. So mainly you're going to be playing around with this. So cd.config i3 and there's a configuration file. You're going to be in there a lot just to configure everything you want it to be. So you could change the modifier key instead of Windows key, you could change it to something else. There's startup applications that you want to use. Uh, if you have a volume key or something like that, you could change the settings over here. Um, basically anything you want. Now this originally runs D menu run and I use Rofi, so you could actually change it out to use Rofi instead, but that's up to you. And 
yeah let me see other, other modifier here is if you want to split the window horizontally or vertically you can memorize this and figure out what you need to do so it's just practice because i i use this a lot so i know how what the keys are and again uh, the gap settings and all that stuff you would have to put into your configuration files if you want it i'm going to x out of this and probably before i leave you off with anything i'll pop in and do sudo app install rofi this way you could get your menu bar and start playing around with that so let's nano back into the config and find our menu bar which is right here i'm going to get rid of d menu run change it over to rofi dash show d run with 400 sounds about right lines five and save that reload and now i have my little d menu run and in here if i want to run say raspberry pi configuration i can do that you see i have my windows thing over here i could change my raspberry pi menu settings that's basically about it guys. It does take a lot of time and effort to make i3 look really good and work to your benefit, but that's the fun of it, to configure the i3, make it look really cool or work the way you want it to. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. If you are guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.